What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of our Alan Wake 2 playthrough. Today, we are picking up inside the Ocean View Hotel, playing alongside Alan Wake here as he unfortunately found himself back in the dark place. But this time, he's trying to right himself out of it, figure out what's going on to stop Scratch and protect Alice, his wife or ex-wife. Not really sure where that stands. But we're inside the hotel and some, some crazy things are happening. There seems to be a theater production that was staged about the cult of the forest that was then infiltrated by the actual cult of the forest and led to some murders so it's a crazy thing if you missed last episode it was one of my favorite storytelling uh experiences i've ever had playing a video game that mission was i don't want to spoil it for you if in case you haven't seen it but my lord what an amazing game so we're going to pick off today we got a key in front of us here room 101 okay so we just made it to the ballroom at the end of the last episode. I'm guessing we can now write the story part of the ballroom to include the pre-show ritual. Yeah, that would look like a ritual. Okay. What have we got in here? Oh, what was that? Hey! Let's go. Okay, is there anything for us to interact? Oh, what do we got here? The cult in the play was called the Cult of the Tree. With their deer masks, they were the backwoods echo of the cult of the words urban horror. Okay, so it's Cult of the... There's Cult of the Woods and Cult of the Trees, Cult of the Forest. I've heard three different names now. Doesn't look like there's anything else I can interact with at the moment. What do we got over here? Play schedule. So rehearsal in room 209 is 219, sorry, is now moved to room 202 twice. So it seemed like we need to find a way into room 202. And last time we saw a room that was scratched out, we were able to enter it through the previous room. So we might need to go to 219 before we can access 202. Uh, this says, remember, hit your marks, keep your masks on, and make it weird. <laughs> so, there you go. Investigate the rehearsal room 219, which then changed to 202. So, we did just pick up a 101 key as well. We haven't walked down this side of the hallway just yet. Not sure if any of these doors will be available for us to explore. Oh, maybe? Maybe? Okay, so it looks like this is like a green ro green room sort of atmosphere. Okay. Oh, hey, another key. Which one's this? Room 209. Isn't that like right across from us? It's 20... Is that a guy? What the heck is that flicker? 209 should be just over... Oh, of course. We got a guy humming. I think it might be the police officer, but he's a little bit too cheerful for my liking. Hey, friend. Hey, Alan. How's the memory doing? Sorry, who are you? Kidding. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> you had me going. Cozy place you got here. You know, your disappearance from Bright Falls is still the only thing that folks talk about. Well, that and Deerfest. Is this where you ended up back in 2010? You know about that? I am the sheriff of Bright Falls. Or I was. Are you related to Sarah Breaker? She was the sheriff of Bright Falls back in 2010. Yeah, she's my cousin. I had a police sketch made of Dor based on my dreams. I sent it around and Sarah recognized the face from an old case file from the 80s. I moved out there to look into it and became sheriff after she left to join the feds. So Deerfest is still a thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's bigger than ever. You know, I got zapped here right before it was about to happen. Funny. Me too. What was in the case file about Dorr? Not a lot of details in it. A local man named Moreland Dorr went missing near Cauldron Lake. Eyewitnesses claim he was struck by a bolt of lightning and just vanished. I never found any official records of a Warland door living in town or anywhere. Another dead end. 
Interesting. So I didn't realize, again, it's been years since I've played the original Alan Wake. I, I kind of want to go back and play it now because all of these things are sounding like it's starting to... I was like, oh, yeah, like he did talk to a Sarah Breaker, which this guy's name's Breaker. Like it relates to it. Like there's so many little hints of things that I'm just like not cluing into because I haven't played it in so long. That game was phenomenal as well. I mean, this whole franchise is, is honestly one of the best experiences of video games I've ever played. So it looks like he has a new thing for Mr. Door here. It says, what is this place? A dream feels like it. Not real, no place. Every place, all places, any place. No longer New York. It's not New York, or now New York, not New York City. Uh, door to gateway, portal, portal, opening, access, window. And then I think these are all the information that we saw him chalk up the first time we saw this. Ooh, what's this? So, everything is pointing to two locations. You have room 101, which is where we just got the key. This is the ballroom. Okay, interesting. So, they're all kind of pointing to multiple locations. Very interesting. So, we got some stuff to check out. I think we need to go downstairs to room 101 and see what's in there. That's where we came from. If I'm not mistaken, we gotta go down to the end of the hallway here. Yeah, we can't get it to 202 from this side. side. Which makes me think we have to go down 219. I hear somebody following me. I also have a ton of equipment on me. Let's dump some stuff in here. Let's go throw this in there. We don't really use flares as much as I probably should. <laughs> we never seem to use it that often. I don't think we really need this many flashbangs. Similarly, we also got... Um, I don't know how to access it. The echoes? We got a couple of these. What do we got here? So the last bullet will be 100% extra damage, double barrel shotgun, which we don't currently have, or max health when landing a direct flare gun shot. I think we're just going to put it, last bullet in the chamber is just going to pop somebody. I like the idea of that. And then words of stuff. Oh, dang. Here we go. Marks all nearby resources in, on interest on Wake's map. Expands his inventory by one row or adds a charge to Alan's flashlight. Man, Words of Stuff is legit. I think we're actually gonna take the mark the map. That seems really good. And yeah, it's marking it with like everything. We can see a bunch of stuff pop up there. That's kind of cool. So I think the way we get back down to floor one is through the magical portal <laughs> in the bathroom. Yeah, we're back to square one here. Now where, question, where is from here, it looks like we just gotta turn right and go to the end of the hallway. It's kind of weird that some of these guys are, like, not really there. Like, I know they're not there to begin with, but some of them feel like you can just blast them with your flashlight and they disappear, whereas others, like, turn into actual, like, monsters. Oh god, what's this? losing his mind inside the uh, the writing room. Is there anything else in here? Any writings on the wall? Ooh, are these flare gun shots? Holy crap, that's a lot. Eight shots now for the flare gun. Let's go. I think that's it for this room. It really didn't unlock a whole heck of a lot. What does it say? Are, it's just to go to 219 or 202. Well, let's go back upstairs to 219 then. And see if... I don't think it needs a key, if I remember. 
We'll find out. We might need to find a key for 219. But I gotta think that's how we'll get to 202 is through 219, which is on the other side, based on the map. is going on in here pretty sure this was the room that had something for me to interact with but I couldn't interact with it which was a little odd I can't break through that God, I wasted so much of my batteries for that. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Uh, something in the second floor hallway, but 219 is just down here. Yeah, whatever that marked is, I can't interact with it. Oh, nice. We can get in here. Maybe we'll keep our flashlight out. We in 202 now? This is where they gathered before the blight. This is where it began. Okay, so we found a new scene to write. I just want to quickly check if there's anything we can loot before changing the scene. There's not. This is, I love building out the, the novel. Like, it's initiation draft number two. We've already drafted one way before. Now we're here with the pre-show ritual, drafting scenes for the next part. So cool. Another vision, another idea. Why set up a play in a hotel? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom did we summon the same thing tapped into something horrifying it it seemed like it was part of the play but it wasn't does that sound crazy you don't want to ask me about crazy kid a haunted hotel yes that's a trope for a reason all right so we got a uh, new story beat for the ballroom which God dang it, man. Uh, it's literally called The Haunting. Okay, I don't think we can enter any of the stairwells yet. Oh my gosh, don't. Well, we might have to fight a big summoned dude at the end of all of this.
You know what? Maybe we should save it just in case we get absolutely wrecked at whatever's <laughs> ahead of us here. <laughs> uh, there's a good, more than likely chance we're spawning something very dangerous here. I recognize my writer's room on the stage. Is there anything new to loot here, though? Gosh, this is creepy. What do we got back there? How do we get into it? Dang it. was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him, and he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess. Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you, but turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was? Shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Hmm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. So we got a no plot element. Find the murder site at the hotel. Follow the devil's trail. Wake. The Devil's Trail. Does it say on our board where that might be? The Devil led the uh, the way with darkness boiling in his skin. So that's the final scene, which was downstairs. Where was that exactly? I think that was downstairs, like on the far side. I think I know where that is. I'm not sure what devil clues I'm following here. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, the final, yeah, it's right here, final scene. There's an echo in the hallway. I'm not entirely sure how to get into... I really don't want to waste bullets if I'm about to go into a boss fight or something. Alright, here we go. Oh god. I do. I'm kind of confused what I'm supposed to do when I get past that. Hmm. 
108, the final scene, first floor. Wonder if there's a way... Room... Is that say room 666? Oh, God. The devil walked through the hotel, dragging the whole place to hell with him. Oh, this is what they mean by follow the devil's trail. get to that room oh my god scratch buddy what are you doing Staircase was draped in blood. Oh, my God. Oh, safe. my God. Oh, we aren't safe. We are not safe. In fact, we are confirmed not safe. Jesus. Oh, God. This mission is actually terrifying. batteries oh something's about to go down ladies and gentlemen this is uh this is getting really real <laughs> six batteries i don't want to go in the murder hall man okay, let me just go enjoy a nice cup of coffee here quickly and then we'll see about finding this devil <clears throat> Has anything changed in these side rooms at all? Ah, uh, stop delaying. Let's just go. This is brutal, man. What the heck? Presence of a new idea here. To figure out how to view that. Oh, right here. That's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception who got me a room number. Hmm. 666. He had requested that room, specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play, and always in character. Interesting. Where are we exactly in the hotel? So we're back in the first floor. Looking for 666. Let's go down this side first and just see if there's any rooms to give us any more supplies. There might not be. It might literally be we're tasked with going to that room and that's it. Oh, 
this is actually so freaking creepy, man. Oh, hey, Mr. Devil Door. I could sense his presence lingering in the room. I was about to have another killer idea. The lady victim. Okay, let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Oh, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a long time kept insisting she had seen the long-lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him, meeting his muse. Turns out he knew her. He'd only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. Not you again. Oh my good lord. and terrified and don't know what I'm doing. Holy God. Okay, so clearly not that way. <laughs> you again. Dark oh. presence had come for me. Oh my god. Drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. Oh my gosh, my feeble little heart can't take this. Have I mentioned in this playthrough at all that I, I'm really not good with horror things? <laughs> Alright, we gotta find. Didn't it say we gotta the find like the murder victim? Yeah. The final scene took place in room 108. So we gotta find 108. So we're back in the main lobby. 108 is okay. So we literally just gotta go down there. It says there's an echo here. Is there actually an echo here for us to visit? Oh God, climax, here we go. The scene had changed. I needed to find the muse, the murder victim, room 108. Beware the drowned lady. Oh God. 
I kind of want this to be a real book. I would love to read this real book. <laughs> record lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean the owl and the deer reflected in motion in his room he will hurt her in hers he is caught his story ends her story does not this is the ritual to lead you on your friends will meet him when you are gone Is that a coffin? This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub, beneath the body. So oh God! It was important. Please don't scare me. Oh God! I'm not ready for this. Another step. Somehow I was closer to home, closer than ever before. It's you again, the FBI agent, Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake? Are we right. still trapped? We have the clicker. We can figure it out. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write the story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. The story. You can do that, Jessica. You can write out. It lasted only for a moment. Like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me. Helping me go deeper. Closer to escape. Somehow. I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment. My study. I had to find the manuscript of her turn. Wow. That was honestly one of the creepiest story missions I've ever played. Like, that is coming off the musical episode, which was one of the best written episodes I've, like, videos I've ever done. This is by far one of the creepiest I've ever done. And now we're getting closer to where Saga's story is, where she found the clicker to help him escape, so... Our two stories are starting to get intertwined. They're starting to catch up to one another. Now we got to get the heck out of here. And <laughs> I just want to get the heck out of this freaking hotel, man. I know there's a few things that we haven't gotten yet, but... If we go back to the very beginning and change the writing... We should be able to escape. So if we go here and change the entrance to just, just basic. This was something out of a horror story, but I had to keep going. I actually don't think this is the exit. I think this is the exit, right? Yeah, it is. This should take us back to the front of the hotel. Oh my god, I've never been so excited to get out of a creepy ass hotel before. My lord! All right, now we got to go to Parliament Tower. Parliament which Tower was here again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. Oh gosh. I think we could keep playing it. I know we have the option of switching back to Saga, but I feel like we're a little bit behind her story. So we might as well continue this to see if it will spit us back out. Kind of lined up perfectly.
All right, time to go back home. Oh, there's so much to process in this game. Like, you have both the stories. You have Alan trying to write himself out of the dark place. You have Saga trying to investigate the cult of the forest. Meanwhile, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, man, I knew that happened, too. Wait, that almost sounded like she was here. Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. Does that say? I can't read it, and it won't let me zoom in. I needed to get inside the manuscript. How is everything? Hi, Alice. Everything good back home? Just checking in. Tried to call but couldn't reach you. You're probably deep in your creative processes. I'm doing whatever his executive producer is supposed to do. Your pal, Barry. Hey, Alice. Shark circling. They now want to turn what happened to, a uh, to Al into a movie and or a TV show. <laughs> hey, Alice. Checking in because I haven't heard from you. Joined a cult. You think you're gonna think I've replaced by an evil double, but I joined a cult and I love it. Joking about being in a cult, kind of blessed wellness retreat. Okay. I'm more of a fish out of water in Hollywood than I ever was. The yuppies. Okay, so clearly she hasn't responded to any of his emails. For months after Ellen died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt, fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Okay. Love is weakness. Part one, the depths. Trigger when viewer... What does that say? Close, intimate, okay. Alice's work had consumed the apartment her whole life. animal and I looked out at the street below and I saw a little girl crying like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world it was the perfect image of the horror of caring and that's when I got myself out of bed and I picked up my camera There was something in the dark, something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. 
I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. That's such a cool picture. <laughs> Scratch standing in the doorway. There's a world hidden behind ours. A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that... that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography can freeze reality in a snapshot, put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. Oh boy. Script of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. man <laughs> okay so he found the manuscript that scratch had written that's what's been terrorizing bright falls saga anderson the parts that she was hearing from other people it's because it hadn't happened yet because alan wake was writing that into the story that scratch had written and did scratch actually just shoot alan wake like what is happening this game is crazy <gasps> Scratch stopped me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. Okay. So we found a whole bunch of echoes in that. We've actually found quite a few of the um, the bonus content stuff. Um, for not trying to focus too much on that during recordings, we've actually found quite a bit, which is which is really cool. All right, what the heck do we do now? Right, so we just got to keep writing, I guess. Zane has said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. 
a new draft of initiation. Why is this all flooded? Oh, this is some trippy stuff. Man, what an experience. I guess we should keep going as Alan Wake. Like, see, this is the only part that's a little confusing to me is like, when is the best time to keep swapping back and forth? I don't think there is. Like, I, I know I'm not gonna miss anything. So I guess we'll just continue and, and see where Alan's path leads. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wig. Whatever you say. Who the heck is he? I dragged him in by writing through loops? Door, Zane. The masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. So he got pulled... Somebody got pulled in that he respects. Is it Saga? By us writing Saga into the new book, is it is he related some or is it Saga's husband? I I really have no idea who Mr. Door is. I couldn't force it open. The dressing room's all been
I don't know who else I pulled in. I'm trying to think, like, man, there's so many. Holy God. There's so many stories intertwined with one another. Here is the light at the end of the tunnel. Huma, Lauta, that held you close, Tom. Eh, but on, what set the granny in the snow? When the panic is biggest, the help is also near. Thor didn't seem happy to see me this time. Hearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your films, Tom, like you have put me. <laughs> what films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite, and Uerden Uer is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... Uh, the... Uh, the valokuva oli? The light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. Uh, they are waiting in the shoe box in the basement. What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. Find the shoebox in the basement. I like that guy. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I really like that guy. I have no idea what the hell he's talking about other than maybe the movie that, um... Uh, whatever the Zane guy and Scratch were working on. Perhaps. God, this game is so good. <laughs> End of part. Let's keep getting the same song so we don't have to listen to it. We might switch back to Saga Anderson here. I'm not quite sure the order, but I kind of like the idea of going back and forth between the two to see how they both finish up at this like similar times. So I think we're going to uh, dive back into Saga's world here. Find the shoebox in the basement? No, I think for now we're going to jump back and figure out what's going on at the uh, the nursery with the two Anderson brothers. I'm starting to piece this all together. Like, there's they're starting to see things that are intertwining with one another between the two stories. There's still a lot of gaps that are confusing everybody in the game as well. All right. So we're back here in Saga's world. We're going to head over to the wellness center to check in on the two brothers. But that's going to be it for this part. We'll keep it nice and short and we'll keep, uh, keep you on your toes about what's going to happen next. But I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough as much as, as I am. I'm not, you know, trying to beat around the bush or over exaggerate by saying this might be one of my favorite storytelling experiences in a video game potentially that I've ever played like don't get me wrong there's some good games out there and I have a list of favorites but in terms of pure raw storytelling I can't think of anything as creative and as this compelling as Alan Wake 2 so kudos so far to uh to the creators of this game it's quite remarkable but that's going to do it for this part, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. We are trying to reach 2,000 by the end of the year. We're almost there. Thank you once again for watching. Take care of yourself. And as always, until we see you in the next video, bye for now.